Yeah, hey everybody, it's Brian with you from the Game Comment, and we are playing more Imperator Rome, continuing with our Macedon campaign, and so today, uh, patch 1.01 came out, and I could play for about 5 seconds on it, and then it would crash my game, so we rolled back to 1.0, so hopefully this one's not gonna crash on us, but anyways, we're getting ready to go declare war over here on Phrygia, um, that's gonna pull in all of these other guys, um, now the only thing I'm not sure of is, so we should be able to conquer the one province that we need, which I think is going to be this one which so that'll be the war goal actually i'm wondering about maybe putting this as the war goal instead or chalkis or something like that yeah we should probably maybe make chalkis as the war goal because that might be a little harder to get to but the point is as we have the war goal our score should tick up I would assume so. The other thing to keep in mind is we don't have fort maintenance going up right now, and we are losing money per turn, which is a little sucky. I'm actually thinking about maybe doing this and then losing one of our trade routes. That's a lot of extra trade routes. That's a lot of extra trade routes. Why do we lose three trade routes? And here's the funny thing, that only gave me an extra two gold. I actually thought this was going to give us a little bit more gold. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was only one trade route, so I'm not quite sure why they're doing that. Yeah, because we're still getting the fish and everything like that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe? Well, we want the iron. That's what we wanted. And we'll do it from Rome. So we can get uh, the extra combat strength, but anyways, whatever. We'll roll with that. That's fine. Uh, we get extra money. Okay, that's good. That probably makes us... Uh, that should make us better off for now. Uh, and then we're also getting a gift there as well. Sweet. Okay, so ships get over here because our ships are going to get ready to go uh, probably blow those guys up. Um, we just want to get all of our troops over here ready to go. You're going to hop on those guys. You... We can't reach there without the fleet. Can we go here? Yeah, we can go there and be fine. Can I take you here? Yeah, all right. So once again, we're just going to get ready to hop on all of these territories. Uh, yeah, accept offer, accept offer. I think that was partly where we're losing the money. Okay, so I just want you to get a little bit larger. Uh, merge. You're at 30 ships. This is going to put us at 32 ships. Okay, we do have a disloyal character. He has eight loyalty right now. Is he in charge of anything? He's one of my kids, man. Whatever. 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 I don't think he's going to do anything. I don't think he can do anything. Uh, what's our HP at? We're at 98. So one more month tick, and we will be at 100 everywhere. So we'll wait till the end of the month. And then we should be good. wonder what that is. Is that morale? Okay, whatever. You're, you're ha healthy now. So we'll bring you over here. Do we want to... I think let's get him in position and declare this war, I suppose. Oh, okay, he's moving out. All right. So now we're in another war. That's fine. So you actually... Oh, you're included in that. Eh. Right? No, that's just declaring... Yeah, that's... No, no, no. Okay, so what do I need? I need, like, region map mode or something like that. That's religion, Brian. Province map mode. There we go. Maybe? Helios. Yeah, okay, so we want Helios is what we want to declare war for. Helios. It's not listed. Uh, okay, A-E-O-L-I-A. -A. That's over there. Hmm. Alright, I guess we're going to do it for here. We're not going to call Roman because they're just going to deny it because they're already at war. And then we're just going to lose um, our uh, uh, alliance with them. So I already tried that in one of my previous plays. So we're going to declare war on them. Continue. Okay. So what I need, I need my fleets to get over here and kick some butt. Yes. I need you to come there. And then I need you to come there. And we're going to go siege both of you down for the time being. Um, I don't know where their fleet went. We have more troops than them, so that's all that really matters in the scheme of things. You're going to go sit up here. Okay, and then you're going to get ready to move right here to this island. And we're going to take the war goal, and then we should be good to go. We immediately took these two provinces. Nice. Does he have no forts over here? Doesn't look like he, have any, he has any forts here. Um, The other option... Actually, hold up. Can we stop you? Yeah, let's move you through there, and then I'm going to have you come there. Uh, This is a fort, then. 
No, it doesn't have a fort. The other thing they ended up changing is they gave more building slots in the new update for the capital, which doesn't really help me right now, but because we're not using the update, but you know, in the future. All right, so you are done. You are sieged. Hmm, what's going to be the quickest way to do this? You're actually... You are actually neutral in this conflict? That's Egypt. Okay. Interesting. Egypt's all the way up here. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Well, we're going to siege these islands down for the time being. Then we're going to go from there. Where is... What... Where are, you, where are you going, bud? Where are you going, bud? <laughs> okay, you got that. Are, is every one of these an island? Oh, do we really want to island hop? Okay, so, all right. So, we actually need... I see, I see, I see. Uh, so, we got a new wise man. So, he can take help take care of us. Uh, he brings people back from the brink of death. So, we can lose some religious power and a bunch of money. But we gain wise men, which gives us 0.5 health. How much health are we losing right now per turn? The cancer is losing us 1%. That doesn't really seem worth it. Or we can convince them to roam our lands, which lowers the unrest. Or no effect. You know what? Just lower the unrest. I I'm going to die. I'm not long for the world. I know this. Getting 0.5 health isn't going to really save me. It's just going to slow my inevitable death. So, whatever. We need to get over here. So, we're going to actually need our ships. Lofty ambitions. Uh, Manitas Proctid. Okay. He has been lobbying, lobbying for a new job. We should approach this. So, we can give him a, the new job. This guy would hate us. He would like us. He already really loves us. Someone with charisma. This guy does have better charisma. He does have better charisma. And the guy currently already has 100. Yeah, you know what? Do it. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So we should be... Yeah, so we're getting war score. So we are getting ticking war score. That's all that matters right now. All right, so you are dead. Uh, I suppose this is all this island. And then I wanted my ships out here because we want to, like, jump over to these islands. So the goal is to hopefully just take all of this. And if he just wants to, like, straight piece me out now without me having to go over there, I probably am okay with that. Although, then again, I kind of do want to take some of these guys. Maybe even break their alliance wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. If we could just break that alliance, that would just be in a great spot. There's no reason to take this because the fort will just take it right back. So let's go grab the fort then. We can't really do anything yet. See, I don't know. I think Egypt will give us a line, uh, access. No. No. Not one bit. And Thrace, we know. Whoopsie. Thrace won't give us access either, right? No. Yeah, Thrace hates us. <laughs> and Thrace, is that it? Yeah, Thrace. Oh, hello. He's got people on these islands. Whatever. This isn't going to be that big of a deal. So we're going to take that fort. That should give us a little bit of war score. Who is this? Okay, so we can go to jump on you as well. All right, so we're going to take that. Get rid of at least the league. I mean, these guys are a culture, but it might just be worth it waiting until we take on Thrace. I'm not a huge fan that Thrace has taken over Byzantium. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that. The Epic Writer. A man approaches us with a request for a room and some help writing the grand uh, tale for the ages. He promises us he will make sure to include Macedon in the tale, so it will be beneficial for us as well as himself. If he manages to write this epic, we will receive the goodwill from the common folk. So, we lose a bunch of money. We'll, we'll, set, a, we'll, we'll set a room aside. I don't want to spend that much money. I'm hoping we can just straight peace out once we take this territory. Military tradition. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Siege craft. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, give me another plus 10% on the siege. What is uh, what is this looking like then? So, siege accumulation is our total percentage. Commander impact is plus 2. Uh, blockaded. Oh, we need to blockade this to help out. Siege engineering is plus 1. I'm thinking maybe that requires how much the defense... I actually don't know. It's a good question. 
I don't know how that affects us. We can also grab some more stuff here. I would like something for money. Yeah, probably the commerce income. Yeah, let's do that. Commerce income. Save us a little bit of money. We should also keep an eye out for any roaming armies. Because that could be a problem. We're losing nine per month. Oh. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Where's my fleet? Siege this down, please. Uh, death. Who is she? I don't know. But, okay. She was someone important. She's head of the Argrid family. All right. Unmarried ruler. Oh, okay. That was our wife. I'm 77. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be okay. Yeah, I'm 77. I'm going to die in uh, essentially two months. <laughs> Maybe we can get the war piece out in time. All right. It's come to our attention that our advisor has been siphoning funds. Uh, I don't care if I lose popularity. He loses, we get the money. I lose popularity, I gain corruption, and he gains corruption. Or we can kick him out. So, how important is he? He actually likes our kid. He actually will lose loyalty towards me. Uh, I will, I'll recuperate our losses. I don't care about popularity, I care about the money right now. Oh no, yeah, go, go try this, try this, try this. Okay, so you're gonna take both of these territories. Actually, I think all three of these territories. Can we go right there to the fort? We can, but let's go kill these armies real quick. Uh, okay, our dude did not die yet. We should probably go a little slower here too. Just throwing it out there. He's the researcher. Okay, so we need a new researcher. We have scorned families. Uh, the Zenonid family really needs some people. What is the researcher? Is the researcher oratory? No, he was one of the tech. Uh, religious advances. So we need someone with religion. Okay. Scorn families. Does any of you guys have religion? You have a three. You have a six. You actually have wealth though right now, so. What is he? Uh, man, there needs to be a way where it actually tells you what they're doing. Like, this is what sucks. We can see he has wealth, but we can't actually see what his job is. Andromenus, let's see if he's on the list. What does he have A six? Andromenus, uh, that's going to be under tech. Andromenus, Andromenus. Yeah, okay, he's right there. So maybe that will get rid of the Scorn family. Maybe. That one got taken. This one's not actually being taken. Do I have to take all these islands? Here's the thing. I don't think I, we have to. Because we could... No, we do have to take it in order to actually ask for it in a peace deal. Well, that's stupid. One papa died. That's fine. We'll go blow you up. And then we're going to go take that. And we should have this war. Yeah, we don't see any troops coming my way. So we should be okay. We have another 18k troops over here. I totally forgot about you. Uh, Let's put you somewhere where there's not going to be attrition. Delphi, sure. <laughs> that's our leader too, which is hilarious. Uh, all claims are now lost to us. All right. All right. All right. And we just died. Cool. So the recent instability caused by has created a power vacuum, which scheming pretenders are too eager to fill. We must look to the future of our nations. Okay. 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 Um, what's going on here? Civil war will break out in 13 months. Ugh. That sucks. Disloyal characters. And he is the general. I'm going to reward veterans. You know what? Let's bri- Ah, he hates us. Ah, oh, that's the pretender, man. That's the pretender. Mmm. Gotcha. And the Zenid family still scorned, even with giving their other dude the thing. Okay. Okay. We also lack an army. Sounds good. There's a risk breaking out due to 30% is by disloyal generals. Okay, I understand how this works now. So, what we need is this guy right here. We need to reward the veterans. Uh, 
Up to four cohorts lose personal loyalty. Did I make him a general and give him troops that were loyal to him? He's actually terrible. Hold up. What is he? What is he managing? He has a zero freaking control. Did I put him in charge of my fleet? No. What is he even in charge of? He's General of the Third Stratos. I don't have a Third Stratos. Oh, there it is. Did he just raise this host? Because this host doesn't look like anything I had. Alright, whatever. We're going to be able to own him the crap out of him. He only has 25k, so... Actually, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We have, uh, we, uh, bought some of, uh, some of the armies here. So how do I split off his army? So they're locked into movement. So we're going to split off the, uh, unloyal ones. Because we can get rid of four of his troops right now. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. And then we also have to get rid of, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. He is Pretender. He's in charge of the second one. <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's probably not good. What? Why are you... Okay, now this is getting a little worse. This is definitely getting a little worse. Alright, I want to grab your troops. Why can't I do this? They're too disloyal. This guy's not loyal, man. What? I don't understand, man. I don't understand. That doesn't make sense to me. Do we need to put ourselves in charge of this? Probably put someone who likes us. There you go. So at least you're loyal to me. I think we're fine. We're going to see if we can get this war done with here. Who is this? Uh, oh, crap. We're going to have to go kill you guys. You have 9k on that island now. Uh, that's probably not good. Now, okay, here's the other thing. This guy is loyal towards the other group. Which means we can literally just remove... Oh, he's my cab army. Fudge. What if I just remove him? Could I not just remove him? I know they're loyal to someone else, but what happens? I actually don't also know how we get over to this island. Can we load onto the ship? I don't quite understand how this works, by the way. So, I don't think... So, all we have is this one army now, 25k. And we have all of our guys right here, too, which should not be a problem. So, we're just gonna have to go murder him pretty quickly. Yeah, we'll, we'll survive the Civil War, I think. I don't know about this 9k. What about suing for peace at this point? So, we want that, 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 that 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 i want all of these islands please and they are going to give it to us now the downside is we can't take you okay can we have them break alliances is that even uh, an option in this game release nation cancel subject he will not do that it's a little bit too much war score. Okay. Hmm. I love how that actually becomes... Hmm. Well, we definitely want the Nihilistic League because then we can go blow you up here as soon as this war is over. Uh, is there anyone else that we want to release? 
Who is this? This is Egypt. It's an Elastic League. Uh, I don't know which one is Chryselos. I don't really care about them. I think I would kind of want maybe Ionia. Now, by canceling the subject, he might just go absorb them. There is that slight problem that he will just absorb them. So maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I should have him release one of the bigger ones or something like that. Yeah, probably. So we're going to take all of that. We're going to be able to grab the league. I don't, maybe we split the fleet up? Maybe that's what we have to do. Split in half. Take half the fleet here. And then we should be able to just get over there, right? No. How do you freaking board, man? What about going to the port? And then maybe we board the ship that way? Then can you, like, board the ship? Order full retreat, split in half, create new unit. Hi, can you board? Boarding tactics. No. Ramming tactics. No. Create new unit. Build the navy. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see any options to do this. All right. Well, in that case, let's get you back over here. Somehow. Somehow. How are we going to do this? How did how the freaking hell did we do it last time? I think we took you here. And then I think you went over here, I think was the goal. I don't know how you get these fleets merged. And then you went over here. Okay, that's what we did last time. All right, whatever. Let's get this war done. Sue for peace. We're going to take all this. I'm not going to go kill 9k on an island. That's just, that seems like a terrible attack. Yeah, it seems like an absolutely terrible attack. And then... Release nation. Oh, wait. Actually, maybe that's better. This treaty is not possible. Treaty is not possible. This tree is not possible to combine with other trees selected. Are you sure? I think it's still doing it. Oh god, he has a lot of money. Uh, let's do, like... Give me as much money as you'll give me. So, what is he doing? He's giving me a bunch of provinces. Okay. He's releasing, and then he's liberating a bunch of stuff as well. And then 75 gold. Is that actually gonna do anything? I don't know. Screw it. Let's go. This will increase our rank to major power. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! So Athenia has finally fallen to our troops. It's one of the two major powers. So uh, once again, let's get the popularity. Yeah, I want to get in the popularity. Oh man, getting the research points would be nice, but we'll gain popularity. Um, they should feel lucky. So we're guaranteeing Rome right now because we're bigger than them. Uh, eh, that's not really what I wanted, but okay, that's fine. So we need to get ready for the civil war that's coming. And we're currently at war with a bunch of people we don't care about. So, oh, our breakup actually worked out really well. So we definitely injured them quite a, a, a lot. All right, so fleet's getting over here. Fleet's getting over there. I want our fleet merged up, please. Okay. You're getting over onto this island. We need to get all of our troops down here next to the 25. Because we're going to have to basically be ready just to squish this army as soon as the Civil War starts. It, I think is the goal. Can we... I guess we can't pass through the island? I don't I don't quite know what's over here. What is the... Um, what is the unrest over here? Just a little bit. It's actually not bad all that at all. Well, it should be okay. Um, do we need to do anything with these islands? Like to make people happy? We can promote them. Why are they unhappy? Because they're not our culture. So we could assimilate them.
It's only 0.68. I'm not really worried. Yeah, I'm not really worried. We're going to have to go declare war on Egypt at some point, too. But I'll get there in a second. So... Uh... Military Egypt... Wait, we entered an alliance? Agree to enter a military alliance with Egypt. Wait, what? And the Secludes? What? We're now odd with them? How did that happen? I didn't... I didn't accept any offer. All right, well, we're just randomly allied with these guys now. <laughs> Dang it! I wanted to declare war on Egypt. Well, okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Scorned families, whatever. Oh, yeah, we still have titles on the signed. Uh, can we put... What title was this? This was a military one. Can we put one of you guys in there? You have a whole two. Not really the best, but Andromedans? Andromedus? This one's just the... Um, I think I will put him. He's only got a two. And Jarmanins. I actually can't. But he has a job then. Yeah, he currently has a job then. He's the researcher. Oh, okay. Gotcha. He doesn't have a job right there. Mendidas. That's what we're going for. I think this one is just for the mercenaries. Mendidas. 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 There should be like a mark like, hey, uh, not loyal family. Yeah, the maintenance is a little bit cheaper. So that gets rid of that family. Sweet. Pretender support. Literally the guy I just put in charge. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I just put you in charge. I just put you freaking in charge. Oh, I hope you die soon. Are you unhealthy? Is Yeah, he actually is pretty sick right now. His loyalty is pretty high, though. I don't know. Uh, we got extra trade routes. I would love to get more iron. Because it's going to give us more heavy infantry discipline. So, totally going to do that. So, now we have uh, heavy infantry discipline on all of our heavy troops. Which is great. Alright. So, Mr. Horses. I'm going to put a little further away. Probably going to suffer some attrition while we're moving everyone. But when's the Civil War going down? Eight months. All right. Well, we're ready to go. Ah, okay. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. This is probably going to help uh, get rid of some of the uh, troops, too, which is going to be great. Uh, some of the enemy characters, or at least some of the family characters, so we have less people to worry about. Okay. Uh, you're up to 37 cohorts all of a sudden. Not bad. Not bad. What are you at? Can we... That's funny, because we released him. You would think he would like us. Hi, here's the other option. You. They're too far rich and powerful. Wait, what? They ended up absorbing them. What? I thought I told you to release them. Or did he just go declare war and conquer them? You know, he might have just conquered them. Because I think he did have troops right there. I think he just conquered them. <laughs> Shouldn't they have had an alliance? Should they not have had an alliance? I feel like they should have had an alliance. Well then. I guess we're going to go to war with him here before too long. Here's the other thing. How do we bump up our stability? I don't think we've actually figured this one out yet. Uh, Where would stability be listed, game? More stability means less people that hate me. Uh, maintenance needs to be high. I'll probably keep all of this. Yeah, I don't know if he'll have a fleet, so whatever. We can lose money for a few more months. How do I get stability up? There should be a way to spend power to get stability up. They definitely need to fix the UI a little bit compared to, like, EU4. Because some of this is still just a little bit weird. Legitimacy is high. Yeah, I love how it actually tells you how long we have until, you know, the thing breaks out because, you know, that makes complete sense. We don't have really the power right now to do any of that. Technology, okay. I think it's probably here is where I think. Ah, here we go. What's this one? Increase stability by one. We're just going to do that twice. 
Let's just get up to a, pos a, plus a positive two stability. So it gives us more loyal subject states, more uh, popularity, more tax, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, we were also currently working on um, absorbing you. Let's go ahead and start integrating. Does this cost anything? No. July 1st, 484. So it's going to be three years. That's not too bad. Who else do we have that we want to integrate? This guy right here. So Thebes. Wait, nope, nope. Thebes is not ours. Who else do we have? You. We can't integrate because you need a 190. So let's go ahead and uh, relation action, improve opinion. And then we're going to start absorbing you before too long. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and move you over here as well just to get you ready to go. Baby, I'm ready to go. Okay. Civic advance. We make more money. Good, 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 good. Yep, yep, yep. Let's get everyone sitting right here ready to go. We could also literally sit here. Could I merge? I'm wondering because we could have them suffer attrition, which would be hilariously uh, hilarious just to like reduce because he would suffer more attrition than us. Can we sit here and uh, reorganize the two units? Yes, I can. I'm going to take the loyal ones that we bought off. Okay. Yeah, he's down to he's down to 20k. That works. That works. We just stole 5k from him. So, he should just get absolutely destroyed here. Call for arms from Egypt. Uh whatever. The funny thing is, like, these alliances don't really help. Like, they don't really matter because they're so far away. Now, you, uh, we have a guarantee or are we actually allies? No, it looks like we're actually allies now. No, we have the guarantee. Because he's, uh, not big enough. Now, the Civil War might actually lower us. It might lower us in power, but we'll see. Are we still in that war? We are. Are you actually winning? Uh, boy. <laughs> boy. All right, can this war go? Four months, epic struggle. Oh God, what? Uh, no, get rid of the writer. I can't afford him. I'm not gonna spend all my money because of this writer. I'm sure there's great benefits and stuff like that, but we need the money right now because we're about to be at war. Yeah, yeah, and then we're probably gonna wanna bank some money after this too. Um, let's go up to speed five. Hey, we got a son, let's go. I kinda don't want sons because then all of a sudden you get pretenders. Just give me one son and be done with it. Daughter, daughter. Ah, we got two sons. Frick. Can't kill our son. Actually, this is a really good son. Yeah, he's going to be pretty good. Pretty good. We don't have a lot of finesse right now, but we got a lot of oratory power, so. All right, let's go up to five. Wait, there's no civil war anymore. What? What? We could arrange a marriage for him. Do we want to? That would give him more popularity. Can we seize assets? He needs to have more gold. And I would gain support pretender, encourage deserters. A random subunit enticed to become a mercenary. We lose 1400, but then he becomes a mercenary. Huh. Huh. Well, the Civil War just broke up, man. Which is kind of hilarious. Wait, are we? Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I guess what we're going to go do is we don't want to improve relations. Wait, what? Covert actions. We're going to fabricate claims. Are you allied with anyone? No. Literally no one. So we're going to fabricate claims. Congrats. And I guess we're just going to get ready to blow you up. So... In fact, our dude right here might just get the kill. All right. Well, there you go. I guess our war is averted. So we can go ahead and do military. Or sorry, economy. Let's lower our uh, fleet maintenance. Let's lower our fort maintenance. And hopefully we can save some money that way. I'll put you out here. We'll just got to keep an eye on the potential civil war. 
What happens if all of a sudden he declares war because, you know, it was about to happen? <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to call anyone because, once again, I don't want them to decline. Because this thing doesn't seem to quite work right. So, I'm just not going to call anyone unless it's an actual necessary war. Can I stop? I'm going to let him go squish. I'm going to let him use his manpower. Actually, yeah, you just go do your thing, man. Call allies. I don't want to call allies. <laughs> we don't need to call allies. We're literally going to take this province without any issues. Uh, hey, Mr. Thebes. You have a... Casas Belli on us. This was 84, so we need three more years here. We're on speed five. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. We also got to wrap this episode up because I need to live stream. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like, comment, and let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button in the game, comment, and show your support. We pretty much have all of Greece united. Was there any decisions on that? Decisions. Reunite Alexander's Empire. We still have a lot to do for that one. We need 600 for that. We can't do any of these decisions. All right, so having all of Greece doesn't really matter. I suppose maybe Thrace is going to be our next goal. He's only got 22 cohorts, which isn't that big. Who's he war with or allied with? Eh, see, that's bad because our allies would actually probably join him. So, actually, here's the thing, though. We're at war with Egypt. Like, we're in with Egypt right now. So why would Egypt go to war with me? Also, I love how this is like breaking a truce, even though he's coming in. Because we're currently fighting a war with Egypt right now, so that shouldn't pull us in. Weird. Weird. Whatever. I'll see you guys next episode. Bye, everybody.